to Fallout 76. This is Jim. If you've been following along a few episodes ago, well, I would say maybe last week, I guess, I uh, did a quick review of the uh, Pittsburgh Palace, which is a uh, prefab that you get from unlocking level 50 on the scoreboard uh, for all players. So that's uh, that's pretty awesome. So uh, after doing that review, I was kind of thinking of some ways of how I can use that because I really liked it. I really liked it. Um, I've been rocking the old uh, quick camp, rocket camp for quite a little while. And uh, so I decided to um, dispose of that stuff and uh, build the Pittsburgh Palace. So um, I'll probably be probably more than halfway done, just a little bit. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you um, the size of this uh, prefab. It's, it's absolutely huge. And I just love the size of it. And uh, I'm right here on the map, right where my uh, rocket quick camp was. And um, it's kind of neat how I, when I placed that, I didn't really think of it until after when I saw this uh, power line pull and I saw the cables running underneath that uh, track. But uh, I didn't really plan it that way, but I was thinking, gee, that looks pretty awesome, actually. And because I thought it was going right through, but it doesn't go right underneath it perfectly. And uh, I'll tell you, that was a fluke. <laughs> a pure fluke. So it's, uh, it's a very big, very big structure. Um, so I, I kept the, uh, the plants here. There wasn't any point destroying them. But uh, what I really liked about it was it has uh, two floor level kind of uh, sea cans here as compared to the um, the Mega Mansion which I also have only has the one sea can on the floor but I like how I like how it's like this how it's laid out and it has this kind of this opened up concrete area so um, yeah it's pretty neat um, I have the stash box here for more so for players that are kind of coming by. Um, I know when I visit other people's camps, uh, sometimes I like to get in the old stash box and you know uh, check out what I have. And so I have the uh, the vendors right here, and I uh, have only one tied up to the power, but it'll show up on the uh, the map. And I got my spooky candy bowl out because it's going to be Halloween here in a few weeks. And uh, I like how they just kind of fit right on the uh, the old pumpkin stand here, the pumpkin decoration. Uh, pretty sharp. Hey, listen here, Raider Punk. Will you be quiet? Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Get a little louder now. Uh, then I have the um, the uh, park card. So, you know, basically a player can come to my camp and, you know, they don't have to look for it. They don't have to try to find it. Everything's like right here. Um, I have my shelter right here. So if you, if there's like a daily to visit someone's shelter, so like everything's like right here. So you're not searching around this huge area for that stuff. Um, I put that uh, Nuka Cola guy, the robot, the Collectron over there um, at my uh, other camp. He was like really, really starting to annoy me. So I put him over here. I have it all caged off so he doesn't move around too much. <laughs> kind of trapped him in there. Um, so I have my little uh, grocery cart grill outside here, of course. Right, I have the uh, symptomatic outside. Somebody else can use it. Um, I have my popcorn machine here. I have my little generator on the side there, kind of out of the way, kind of powering it. I got my uh, purified uh, water locations. Um, let's go inside here. And uh, this is pretty much the main living quarters like everything that I need to do is like right in here and other players can come in here too because it's not going to be locked and they can kind of work away and uh, if they have a cooler it's uh, it's right there and uh, you know all these are you know different kind of stash options and all that there's my bed yeah, but that other player can lay down there if they want to it's off the ground so that's pretty awesome and then in here have a little section, just a, kind of like a brewing kind of section, chemistry station, uh, fermenter, and uh, the brewing station gas pump there. So 
And I put a little, a few little decorations in here that I got over the over the last little while, kind of thing, kind of make it look kind of neat. Feels sounds like I'm getting attacked or something here. I hear something moving around. I yeah, I did. I right. <laughs> you were right. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, all right. I kept that stuff there. Might as just keep it. I like to keep my um, my little camp, whatever this is called, you know, out of the way. Because sometimes, what happens, what I find happens, what happened at one of my camps is um, this is actually underneath the prefab, um, so it was like destroyed by super mutants. It's the one that's a little further down the road here. This one here, and uh, so it's underneath the prefab. And I have everything kind of set the way I like it. So it'll take a lot of work to dig it out. So I learned from that situation to just kind of put that over here by itself. So it's not going to get stuck underneath something. Um, so carrying on here. Just go up this little stairs. I got my uh, ammo uh, converter here. And uh, so there's the little um, Pittsburgh Palace. There's the little power connector. And I perfect spot for the fusion generator just on this ledge like it's just a perfect perfect spot for it. Um, this uh, trolley train car and the uh, trolley uh, train car I have up here I don't have anything in them yet uh, I'm still trying to decide what I want to put in here because uh, these are really big spaces and um, and right now my camp budget well, it's a little bit less than half, so I would say I would call that maybe 40, 45 percent. So, uh, so that's not too bad, not too bad. Um, but I think I'm going to keep it at that for a while because I don't really need a whole lot of area. The, basically, everything I need is like right here and uh, right in here, and basically um, everything that'll be up top will just be for pure decoration. So, um, I'm just trying to decide on that, and if I obviously get some more resources because I have to. Um, use some junk to uh, craft some stuff so so uh, what do you guys think um, I think it looks pretty awesome um, I haven't really seen I've only seen one other Pittsburgh Palace over the last couple weeks there and uh, it looked pretty neat I wish I would have took a video of it but it was really nice the way they had it decorated um, so this is the way I decided so uh, so yeah I hope you all enjoyed and um, next video I make will probably be in a few more weeks when I'll have everything kind of filled out up top so uh, I appreciate the subscriptions the likes the viewerships and uh, thank you all very much for watching and have a nice day